when we talk about sanitation in a high tunnel or greenhouse, we're talking about keeping things clean. And just like human health, uh, plant health is really dependent upon the, um, the prevention of infections by pathogens. And in this case, it's plant pathogens, so fungi, bacteria, viruses. Um, and in, in this high tunnel we're using as an example, we can think about sanitation from every aspect. Uh, for example, this high tunnel has a woven ground cloth throughout, so there is no exposed soil. Um, so keeping that woven cloth clean by sweeping throughout the season, very important. Also, uh, plant debris. Um, so any cuttings or clippings that um, are removed from plants should not be thrown on the ground because the uh, plant pathogens can produce overwintering structures and uh, reproductive propagule that stay there. And essentially, they will sift down through this cloth and they will allow that pathogen to overwinter in the house. Something else, as we look to the side, we see weeds here. Weeds can harbor insects that carry viruses. Weeds can also harbor other plant pathogens. So keeping it clean, keeping it weed free, not just inside the tunnel, but right outside, is another way to use sanitation to prevent plant disease. Um, if there are any plant diseases uh, noticed on plants, to be able to prune those out and not leaving them on, on plants, so that those pathogens, fungi in particular, don't have a chance to sporulate and to disseminate those spores onto healthy plant material. Something else that we do is uh, in between seasons, we're disinfesting our greenhouse. We're basically cleaning things up. So right before plants go in, to be able to really disinfest everything, the commercial grower should be using a commercial disinfestant. We will link the publication on disinfesting commercial greenhouses and commercial tools in the description below. So before we, we install, we would use a disinfestant, and in this case, we would, we would uh, spray the cloth. Most of these products are foamy, so we would just spray it on and leave it on. Um, throughout the season, we are sweeping, and in some cases, we might apply a disinfestant that's plant safe in between the plants, in between the rows. After harvest, we would use disinfestant again, and we would clean this entire woven cloth again. We would sweep it, we would um, use the disinfestant, and we would also flush any irrigation lines. And this would make sure to, to target any pathogens that have lodged themselves into the uh, drip lines or any of the drip tape. In, uh, in lots of situations, we also use disinfestants to clean entire houses, whether it's greenhouse benches, we use disinfestants for our tools, any of our equipment, our wheelbarrows. Um, we can even use a foot bath to make sure that we are not moving propagules from the outside to the inside of the greenhouse or high tunnel. So consider sanitation a major cultural practice. It's really important. So for both conventional growers and organic growers, Having a good sanitation program is a major part of any disease management regime.